Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. If you want to sell just stuff from CJ Dropshipping using your EV account, you are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you a few tips so you can do this. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is to have an EV account. And once you have an account here into eBay, what you want to do is to convert your, let's say, like from a customer into a seller. So what you want to do is to go into my eBay, hit into become a seller. In my case, I do have this selling uh, bin because I'm already in here. So uh, it's really easy to create an account, to create your eBay account. So once you do have this one successfully already created, what I do wanted to do is to find my CJ dropshipping into another tab so I can get started. So what I do want to do is to create an account. So I'm going to go into logged out. I want to choose the option that says create an account. In my case, of course, I want to just sign in. And here I want to use exactly the same uh, method that I choose into eBay. So it can be a little bit more easier and faster to match those. So as you can see, this one has been already successfully done already. I'm here and we're actually good to go. Now, what I do wanted to do here is to go into authorizations. And here it is authorizations. We want to look for the website, the e-commerce or the place where you want to start selling your stuff. In our case, let's hit into eBay. Here's the third option, eBay. So what I do want to find is my seller profile or my username. So it's really easy to find that because CJ Trustship is going to be asking for us for that. So what you want to do is to go into add store here into store type and here into store name. I want to choose my eBay. I'm going to go into my eBay, go into selling and this one is your username. So copy and paste that in here and hit into authorize. So please complete step up within the five minutes on all the authorization we fail. In our case, here is my store name. Here's my non-public store name. So here I'm going to change that like this and store type authorized activated action stored logistics we are actually good to go this one is already activated so we can go into the next step so uh if i go into my ebay what i do want to do of course is to locate once again the selling and here into selling promotion i do want to find how many items i can list totally for free so here it says pay no interest fees for 200 action style fixed price listing hitting to learn more let's see if this one is actually uh, legit so this actually sent me into the help center i don't think that i don't need this at the moment so uh what i just need to do is to start listing an item and to add that here into from the CG drop shipping into eBay selling. What I do want to do is to go back into my CG drop shipping, and here I want to look here. I'm going to click into the main logo to look for an item to sell. So here I have a lot of items. Let's say I want to list. I don't know maybe this one, and I want to go into list. So once I choose the list option. Here is the item that I want to add, of course. And here is uh, all the options that can be available. So as you can see, where it says store, this is eBay. We have the listing site. You want to choose the site that best fits for you. Let's say, for example, Spain or Italy, depends totally on you. And now here it says it, it items left to list on eBay. We have zero and the account limit is zero. So this is the listing quantity that we can add into eBay and you want to reload the page. If you have zero options in here, you are not going to be able to list any kind of these items. So you want to actually take uh, in mind that. And once you successfully done that, I'm going to hit into the first one and hit into list now. Now, um, if I choose listing quantity, I'm just going to add like to 12 and get into list now. Now, that's the reason why you want to go into your store and figure out how many listings do you have available into your store. If you uh, don't have that option, what you need to do here, as you can see here is get most out of selling on eBay with this. 
deals list up to 200 items for free every month so i just need to see if this one is available at ebay.com but as you can see i'm located into another country so my, that might be the reason so cj dropshipping tell us that of course we need to solve these issues for example the international selling agreement has not been accepted actions that are in violation information uh, mistakes so uh the next thing that we can do here uh, as you can see here is selling promotions ebay allows to list up to these items Please keep in mind that you will not be able to list products once there's not enough quota. There are two situations. If you received feedback shown in the picture below, this means that you have not well set up the payment method in your store. So that means we need to, of course, set a payment method into our store. So uh, what I do want to do is to go into my store once again, hit into selling, and then into setting, what you want to do is to hit a payment method. So I'm gonna go back. I want to go for selling. And here in selling, I want to choose payments. And here in payments, what you want to do is to continue with your Google account. In my case, I do want to use my Google account. And then I just need to import a payment method in order to start selling into eBay. So I'm going to do this later. And don't ask me again. And I do want to add a payment option in order to start selling. Really, really easy, right, guys? So I'm going to hit into continue and then we're actually just good to go after the and then we're actually good to go after the billing information you can add that into ebay and then we can actually good to go now uh what you want to do of course is to figure out if this account has been connected to the website to the product has been added into your ebay store and for that you just need to hit into connect and here into connect what you want to do is to hit into enter your store name hit into this one and here you want to copy and paste the product name to the SPUs exactly how it appears into your eBay hit into the store once again hit into synced and you want to choose exactly the same item here and this one is going to be synced right away a really really easy step so with that being said guys now we can start selling into the e-commerce and um, the last thing that i can totally suggest you is to create a shopify account or try to create create another account where once you have like for example this item let's say you want to sell this item what i just need to do is to copy and paste all of this information even the description the profit the node the inventory absolutely everything in here and once you make a sale here you can buy that and make the sale for the specific buyer you just need to specify of course that the uh, shipping delay might be up to 30 days 35 days uh totally depends on what kind of item that you choose and the warehouse so with that being said guys hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools about how we can get started here into ebay thank you so much for watching the video and of course you want to check it out the ga dropshipping uh listing and the bots and the customer supports so just in case you have any specific question about selling there so thank you so much for watching the video guys and i'll see you on the next video i'll see you soon